Gold is in a range with a slightly upward bias on day one of Q2, but we have a slew of economic news on tap this week with Friday's job report topping the list. So how will gold perform? Joining us now is Kickles Global Trading Director, Peter Hug. Pete, good to have you back on. It's good to be here, Daniela. So as we speak, Pete, uh, gold's doing well here, uh, trading around 12.50 an ounce. But you say the market still has an upward bias, but lots of data on deck here. So how should we be preparing for this week? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm treating gold here at these levels. Uh, again, as I, we spoke last week, I'm, I'm still relatively neutral here. I'd like to see gold break up through that 1256 uh, uh, resistance point. Uh, if we can get through 1256, it brings in the, uh, the 1265-68 uh, level, uh, which I think is key uh, to creating momentum up to $1,300. And, you know, it's just not there yet. We just don't have the momentum to follow through. So, you know, until I see something uh, that, that, that creates the momentum on the upside, uh, I, I think you still need to be uh, somewhat neutral this market at the current levels. So that said, Pete, is it a good time to get in the market right now or, or just wait on the sidelines here? Well, you know, again, uh, this is the best time. I've been in this business since 1973. This is the best time, if you are bullish the market, to consider getting into the physical metals market. Uh, premiums on, on uh, physical metals, uh, I have not seen this tight to spot, uh, well, in, in my career. I mean, you can buy one ounce gold bars for as little as uh, $8 over spot, 100 ounce silver bars for as little as uh, 30 to 40 cents over spot. Uh, generally, uh, you know, 100 ounce silver bars trade anywhere from 75 to $1.25 over spot, one ounce gold bars up in the $20 premium range. So if you're bullish and you are looking to add to your position or to get into the gold market uh, in, a, in the physical market, uh, you're not going to find much better premiums than are being offered today by the dealers. Wow. No, I'm, I'm surprised by your statement. So you're saying one of the best times um, that you've seen in your career, Pete. The best times if you're going to get into the physical market relative right. to premium to spot. Uh, uh, the physical market carries fabrication premiums. Uh, when, and when the market is, 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 is in high demand from a physical perspective, those premiums are generally uh, anywhere from three to four times higher than we're seeing right now in the physical market. So if your orientation is to be long the gold market and you're looking to be long the gold market in the physical market as opposed to the ETF or mining share market, uh, this would be an opportune time to get into some physical metals based on the premiums that are being offered by the dealers currently. All right, good thoughts, Pete. Before I let you go, um, uh, comments on silver. It picked up some steam, as we know, later in, in the tail end of Q1. So how's it starting uh, the second quarter here? It's, you know, silver's holding up extremely well. Uh, uh, it's, it's having trouble getting up through that 1825 on a closed basis. I think if we can get through there, I think uh, the high 18s are the next uh, target. Uh, if we get the recoveries uh, to continue, even at a modest pace, uh, from a global perspective, I think the ratio on, on gold-silver is going to narrow in silver's favor. Uh, we had it as uh, low as 71 ounces of silver to an ounce of gold at the beginning of March. Uh, it tightened into about, uh, at the current rate, at about 68 and a half. And I, I think 65 to 1 is certainly a target that's within silver's reach. And at current gold price... If gold doesn't move and silver does just move on a ratio basis, that would take silver up into about the uh, mid-$19 range. All right, Pete. Good thoughts from you. We'll see you next week. Okay. Nice to see you again. Bye-bye. thanks for watching this edition of Kickles Gold Report. We'll see you tomorrow.